Whether you're a poet or a chef, if you're doing something, you may as well do it right. Hattie D. Jamal teamed up with a former NFL player with a Hall of Fame barbecue game to learn to grill like a pro. This is eight-year NFL safety Mark McMillan making big plays for the Eagles and Chiefs back in the day. And this is him today, whipping up barbecued fan favorites from burgers to wings. So I was blessed enough to be in this position to be able to go from the gridiron to the grill. Is grilling more of a science or more of a sport? I would say for me, it's more of a sport. You yeah. know, I, I tackle grilling like I tackle playing football. Mark's got a three-step guide to grilling like a pro. Starting with the types of grills. His go-to is a wood pellet model. The wood pellets add a smoky flavor from cherry to mesquite, which makes it great for wings. While the pellet grill works for burgers too. Truly a versatile athlete, huh? You gotta be versatile now. You, you can't just be one dimensional. Mark prefers a propane powered griddle for the even heat distribution and its ability to lock in flavor. The Dynaglow griddle is about 110 bucks, while the pellet grill is 499. Next up are the rubs. Mark says, use what you like but he has his own brand called the Boom 3.0, inspired by football royalty, the late, great John Madden. I was able to make the all Madden team my rookie year. A lot of people that know about John Madden, one of his key phrases was boom. The 3.0 is his jersey number 29, but rounded up. Hey, the way I look at it is it's 2.9, you turn it up one more notch. Bam. I like that. There you go. Boom. <laughs> his advice with rubs is to start with olive oil on the meat. Rubbed a little bit of Boom 3.0 on them, so they've been marinating, so the season is as well inside the meat, so you're going to taste the flavor. Now for the payoff, his signature dishes, Boom 3.0 wings and smash burgers. Take your marinated wings and pop them on the grill. The secret is the cooking temperature. We have these wings at about 175 as a temperature that went for like an hour, hour and a half to retain that juiciness. For the smash burgers, ball your ground beef golf ball size. Already seasoned, so we're just sitting here for maybe like a minute or two to get a nice little char on the bottom, then we'll smash them down. Cook it for about two or three minutes on each side. Add your cheese at the end, put it together with your favorite fixings, and there you go. For these recipes, check out thelisttv.com. Nailing all three phases of the grilling game, boom, pro style.